Now we're going to take another look at integrating a definite integral by substitution. And here's our example. The integral from 0 to 2 of x times x squared plus 2 cubed dx. And we're going to look more closely at the thought process involved in the substitution. Now look at this. This is the integrand. That's what we call this thing between our integral sign and our dx. The integrand is the function being integrated. Now take a look. Notice we have an x squared and an x. And this is our clue. We recognize that if we take the derivative of an x squared, that will give us something involving x to the first. So recognizing that one of these is the derivative of the other, or in this case the x is the derivative of the x squared, or at least is a constant multiplier of the derivative of x squared. That's our clue that one thing might make a good u and then the derivative, the derivative of that might be the differential part, the du. So that gives us a clue what to try for our substitution. When you have one thing and its derivative or something that's approximately its derivative, then try that thing for your u. So watch this. u is going to be x squared plus 2. And when we do that, then we can take the derivative du dx will be 2x. Now let's solve this for du. du will be 2x dx. Now compare this to what we have in our original expression. Look here, the x squared plus 2, that's right here. So this is u cubed. And then look what else we have, x dx, look down here. The x dx is half of our du. So take note of all that. We have u cubed and half of our du. So let's take our original integral and write it that way. The original integral is the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 2 of u cubed times 1 half du and we can integrate that. We'll bring the one-half out front and then we have the integral of u cubed which is u to the fourth over four and we're evaluating this from x equals zero to x equals two and again writing the x equals here in these places helps us realize that we need to substitute back in this u right here. We need to put, uh, put a expression in terms of x right there and for our u. So remember that our u was x squared plus 2 so let's just plug that back in. This is 1 half x squared plus 2 to the fourth over 4 and that's evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 4 and then we can do that because now we can plug in these x values right here because we now have an x there. So let's do that. We have a 1 half and if we put a x equals 4 in there that gives me 4 squared I, I have a mistake here. This, um, this is x equals 2. That should be a 2 right there. Let me fix that. So x equals 2. So that's what we're going to plug in here. x equals 2 gets plugged in here. So we have a 2 squared plus 4. That's 6 to the fourth. So this is 6 to the fourth over 4 minus, and now we plug in the 0 right here for x. That's a 0 plus 2 is 2 to the fourth over 4. And I'm just keeping the 1 half factored out over here. And this comes out to 1 half times 324 minus 4 which is half of 320, which is 160. And that's our final answer. So that's an integration by substitution. Okay, now I'm going to work the same problem, and I'm going to do a substitution with change of limits. So what I'll do this next time, instead of substituting right up here, or, or right here, this u value with an expression for x, I'm going to substitute the limits here and make those in terms of u. So same problem will now work with integration with substitution with change of limits.
so here it is, the integral from 0 to 2 of x times x squared plus 2 cubed dx. So we start off the same way. We let u equal x squared plus 2, and then we can take the derivative of that, and du dx is just 2x. So let's just rearrange this. du is 2x dx. And then let's rewrite our original integral. Note again that uh, the x squared plus 2 cubed is my u cubed, and then this x dx is half of my du. So I'll write this as the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 2 of u cubed times 1 half du. Everything's the same as before so far. Now I can go ahead and substitute my limits of integration right now. Remember that u is equal to x squared plus 2. So I'll write, so when x equals 0, when x equals 0, what is u? We'll just put in a 0 right there, and you can see that when x equals 0, u equals 2. And when x equals 2, what is u? 2, we put in a, a 2 right there, 2 squared plus 4 is 6. u equals 6. So I said when x equals 0, u equals 2, and when x equals 2, u equals 6. So I can rewrite my original integral now as, I'm going I'm to bring the 1 half out front, and instead of integrating from x equals 0 to x equals 2, I'll be integrating from u equals 2 to u equals 6. And I have the integral of u cubed du, and the 1 half, remember, is just out front. So now everything's in terms of u, and I can do that substitution even before I integrate. So now the integral of u cubed du is pretty simple. We just do 1 half times u to the fourth over 4, and we're evaluating this from u equals 2 to u equals 6, and I can do that. I can plug in these values for u and for this variable right here because it is in fact a u. So let's do that. This is going to be a 1 eighth, I'm just combining the uh, the 2 and the 4 in the denominator right there, 1 8 times 6 to the 4th minus 2 to the 4th. And that's 1 8 times 1296 minus 16, and you work that out, and it comes out to 160, which is just what we got before. Pretty cool.